Good afternoon. I'm Jambo. <clears throat> um, I apologize for coming in a bit late. We had a full plate uh, this morning, and I made a deliberate decision to go all the way to the river just to see what uh, one facility is doing there, one manufacturing facility of pharmaceuticals is doing, a partnership between a uh, Kenyan company and uh, one from Bangladesh that are working in collaboration. They've been working for uh, 15 years, and I know that is the story of many companies here. Some are as old as our country, some are older, others are in between now and then. And to congratulate all of you for being part of this journey of universal health coverage, a project and a program that we have always wanted to achieve as the people of Kenya. We have tried this universal health coverage twice and did not succeed. And that is why this time round, I made a commitment that this time round it must work. As uh, Sakaja would, would put it, lazima I work. And that is why I am delighted to meet you as our local manufacturers of health products, health technologies, and all the other stakeholders in the pharmaceutical manufacturing uh, space in Kenya. The noble work that you do not only enables us to deliver on healthcare, but also creates jobs for millions of our young people and also contributes significantly to economic growth in Kenya. This first local manufacturing expo, whose theme is sparring local manufacturing for supply of affordable and quality essential health products and technologies towards achieving universal health care goals is aligned with our national aspiration for reviving and transforming Kenya's economy through local manufacturing and local industrialization. The health sector has great potential to significantly contribute to industrialization through intensive investments in local manufacturing of health products and technologies. I take note that Kenya is currently the largest producer of pharmaceutical products in the common markets and Southern Africa region, Comesa, supplying almost 50% of the region's market. I'm optimistic that with close collaboration between the government and manufacturers of health products, Kenya's manufacturing industry will expand its market share in Africa as more opportunities become available as a result of both COMESA, EAC, SADC combined into the apartheid uh, uh, treaty agreement and also the expanded Africa continental free trade area. Um, it will be my responsibility to you to make sure that we not only make it possible for you to invest in and thrive in Kenya, but to also tap into the opportunities that come with the expanded market into ESC, into COMESA, tripartite uh, space uh, between SADC, COMESA, and ESC, and on to the Africa continental free trade area. You have seen what we are doing, trying to consolidate the African market into one single market to make it easier for investors like yourselves and others that will be partnering with you to build capacities that would not, only, would not only supply products, health products to Kenya, but to our region as well. Previous efforts have not had a significant impact and farmer imports continue to grow faster than exports, with the country importing over 70% of the total value of its pharmaceutical needs annually. Indeed, the government is aware that local manufacturing requires significant support to compete with a highly competitive multi-billion dollar global pharmaceutical market. 
Statistics indicate that Africa's pharmaceutical industry is growing rapidly, reaching US dollars 28.56 billion, about 4.2 trillion in 2017, from 5.5 billion, about 814 billion a decade earlier. While developing countries' markets are stagnating, it is predicted that the African market will increase from 56 billion to 70 billion dollars, a whole 10 trillion, 10.3 trillion by 2030. A reason enough to strategically position Kenya's pharmaceutical industry to leverage on this opportunity. I'm just trying to paint the picture for you to know what the future looks like if you are in this space. The key challenge hindering the harmonization, growth, and advancement of local manufacturing of health products and technologies is lack of non-facilitative regulatory framework. We, we have not optimized aspects of technology transfer, capacity utilization, transfer pricing, use of generics and brand names, bulk purchasing, and protection of local manufacturers effectively. By all indicator, indicators, local manufacturing of health products has registered a measure of admirable success, but there is a big room for improvement. I am aware of the long-standing challenges local manufacturers face, and my administration is committed to ensuring that by 2026, mark these dates, they are important to you as manufacturers. At least 50% of the medicines listed in the Kenya Essential Medicines list will be manufactured and available locally. We will work with you and all the other stakeholders to coordinate activities among financiers, industry, and technical providers to reduce transaction costs, ensure critical investment in system enablers, and support manufacturers in dealing with various requests for assistance. Coordination across the country will ensure diversified supply and a viable market for new products. Furthermore, the Government of Kenya will support the establishment and strengthening of the requisite regulatory and policy framework to facilitate the achievement of this commitment. Last week in Cabinet, Minister here brought the necessary legislation that is going to provide greater space and expertise uh, for the Pharmaceutical and Poisons Board that registers drugs and all the other pharmaceutical products that are available locally and even globally to make it a much more fit for purpose vehicle to facilitate this uh, transformation. My administration will also ensure that we work through regional initiatives and agencies to support local manufacturers to achieve the World Health Organization's good manufacturing practice standards to not only produce for Kenya, but also open up the market for the export of products outside the region and all the way into the continent. Infrastructing local manufacturing for increased access and affordability of health products and technologies, job creation and economic growth for Kenya, my administration commits to increase tariff lines for imported health products and technologies as outlined in the East Africa Community Common External Tariff of 2017. We will also adequately cater for this and closely linked products, but reduce ambiguities and avoid hindrance to market access. The government will also set aside infrastructure, including land. In fact, we are in the process of identifying the former land that belonged to Del Monte in Moranga. I have discussed with the county government of Moranga they have set aside 500 acres for a special economic zone, 200 of which will be made specifically for pharmaceutical companies. 
This will be land that will be made available with some measure of good infrastructure and an uh, ecosystem of uh, uh, policies and uh, uh, fiscal incentives to ensure that you can set up camp easily and be able to access not just the local market, but provide avenues for you to access the international market as well. And to ensure maximum impact, the government will provide guidance on the priority products to be manufactured within the villages in line with the implementation of the Universal Health Coverage Essential Benefits Package. We will strengthen research, development and innovation by increasing financing for clinical trials at the Kenya Medical Research Institute right here in Kenya. This will boost research and commercialization of health products and technologies through Biovax, bio and I see the MDs right here, Limited, and contract manufacturing opportunities with local manufacturers. My administration also, if you looked at the budget critically, we have also increased incentives around the space of manufacture of pharmaceutical products. We have removed taxes and other requirements on uh, manufacturing of animal vaccine, of uh, human vaccine, and the whole manufacturing of uh, pharmaceutical products space. Again, to give opportunity to you and others to expand your operations in Kenya. We are also uh, in conversation, and I have told the Minister for Trade to work with her, uh, her colleague in uh, uh, energy to see the tariffs, the energy tariffs in our special economic zones where we are facilitating your setup so that we can increase the opportunity for our products to be affordable and we can assist you to penetrate the market, not just in Kenya, but regionally and globally as well. We will strengthen, as I have told you, uh, local regulatory framework for health products and technologies to ensure it achieves majority level number three or above. The country is committed to ensuring that it legislates a medical authority as well as ratifies the African Medicine Agency. These steps will help reduce timelines taken for the registration of medicines and the introduction of new products into our market. We will ensure that Kenya becomes attractive to local and foreign investors in health manufacturing. Our presence here today to open square uh, pharmaceuticals, which I did earlier, confirms our unwavering support for investors, including manufacturers of pharmaceuticals. And let me say this uh, because it is the reason why I came here that our quest for universal health coverage this time round we have said we must succeed and it is the reason we have taken time to interrogate all aspects that will make it possible to roll out universal health coverage without failure we have looked at the framework legislative framework that will backstop and facilitate our universal health coverage delivery. I must congratulate Parliament that yesterday at least two pieces of legislation were concluded. And they have promised me that by Tuesday next week they will also conclude the remaining two. So we will end up with four pieces of legislation that will support our delivery of universal health coverage in Kenya, which this function is part of the build-up activities towards 20th, when we will be launching the universal health coverage program nationally to live up to our commitment that health must not be a privilege for those who can afford, but it must be are deliverable by the government of Kenya for every Kenyan starting from 
the home state. And that is why we are talking about Afia Nyumbani. The program that I launched uh, two weeks ago, where we are kitting all our 100,000 community health promoters, is to ensure that in every home state, in every village in Kenya, there is a community health promoter who will work with the communities to transit and to actualize our paradigm shift from being focused on curative health provision to one that we do preventive as well as promotive health interventions. That is not exactly bad news for you guys. I don't think it is. I, I don't think anybody likes uh, to sell medicine uh, merely because they want people to be sick. It is when we cannot avoid being sick, that is why we have to take medicine. But we're trying to see how we can make it possible for citizens who suffer from ailments that are preventable ailments that we can manage, but because there isn't a clear pathway where citizens get the correct information, get to manage their conditions earlier, that is where we end up with huge bills in big hospitals with drugs and many things that put a huge burden on the people of Kenya. And that is why we are working together in this space as we work towards prevention on one end, and that is our plan. We also want to work with you as manufacturers. And my job will be to do between three or four things. My job is to ensure that we create a market for your products in Kenya by buying what you are producing instead of importing. That is one of my responsibilities. And as Waziri has said, we have given very clear instructions to all our public entities that buy pharmaceutical products, starting with Kemsa, that we will not import any product that is being manufactured locally. In fact, going forward, where we have at least three manufacturers over product, we should never import that product into Kenya. Let the competition between the players, the manufacturers in Kenya, is sufficient for us to get value for uh, the drugs and the pharmaceutical products that we are looking for. For the first time, I have been told by some of the pharmaceutical companies in Kenya, when we issued this instruction, and we asked the ministry to make sure that the conditions and also um, the details and the specifications of the drugs that we are asking and of the pro pharmaceutical products that we are asking are not dictated by vendors. Because for a very long time, vendors went into the ministry and put their products as specifications for the supply of products. And that is why we have ended up with one supplier for 20, 30 years of a product that is being produced in Kenya, but they just twisted the specifications and we have said that will not happen again. Yeah. I promise you we are going to drain the swamp at the Ministry of Health. It will not continue to do the things they have done before. And if the same product with slightly different uh, specifications is available in Kenya, why do you insist on that other product that's not available in Kenya? If it is not something else. So we have agreed. And I'm very happy that there are companies today who have been manufacturing in Kenya. They have never sold to Kemsa, but this year they have started selling to Kemsa. 
I don't know whether there are some companies here who can stand and say for the first time they've gotten an opportunity to supply. <laughs> at this we have two here. I had, there is another gentleman at the, right at the corner there. There is another gentleman at the corner there. There is another, you see, Ebu Simameni, the people who, are, who have gotten to supply to, to camps up for the first time this year. Look at that. People who are manufacturing in Kenya. In fact, I was shocked when I went to one manufacturing facility and the uh, manufacturer asked me, Mr. President, we are manufacturing products that are globally acclaimed. We are supplying to India. We are supplying to Pakistan. We are supplying to Europe. But we cannot supply to Kemsa. You know? And that is when I took the decision that enough is enough in Kemsa. We just have to get it right. And I want to promise you that... Uh, it's not going to be a one-off. That is going to be the tradition of Kenya going forward. We are going to manufacture our products locally. And we are not just going to manufacture our products using our local manufacturing capabilities. It is also my responsibility to make sure that the products you are manufacturing in Kenya also find a market in ESC, find a market in Comesa, find a market in our continent because your facilities are world class. Your facilities manufacture products that meet international standards and we are going to even provide affirmative action. If in the event that you cannot compete with some of the big brands out there, we are going to have affirmative action for locally manufactured products. Because aside from supplying us with products, you are hiring our people and you are paying taxes in Kenya. So you must, that, that must count for something in your, in your operation. The second issue that I must do is to provide an environment, a business environment, an investment environment that promotes your products and make sure that they are not only competitive in Kenya, but they are also competitive uh, globally. It will also be my responsibility to build the regional networks, the continental networks, and even a global market for the products that you manufacture in Kenya. My only request to you is that as I do my part, you do yours. You manufacture affordably. You hire the many Kenyans that uh, uh, are around, and you pay taxes. <laughs> I think that's a fair deal. What do you think? Yeah, I will do my my part. You will do yours, Cindy. So I think uh, if we square it out that way, that you will do your part and I will do mine, we will get this country. We will get the country moving. Let me also um, uh, commit to you that um, the universal health coverage program that we, are, that we are rolling out, we will make you our partners. I think our expenditure on import of pharmaceutical products is anywhere in the region of 150 billion, there about uh, Kenya shillings yearly. That is huge. And it makes the case for any investor and any investment. If you have that kind of market, it is sufficient market for you to invest uh, in Kenya. So we're going to work with you. We're going to be listening to you. We want to have a partnership. The minister and the PSS in the ministry will be available for consultations with you. And I promise you that we will buy your products as a first priority in Kenya. The ones you manufacture here. Senor, I know there are people here who are also doing that other business, which is okay. For the products we are not producing locally, of course, where we have no choice, we will work with international and global uh, suppliers of those products. And 
just to backstop and to tell you that uh, we are looking at exciting moments ahead of us as we build into uh, uh, the greater uh, market that's available to us. I have given you statistics about what the future looks like and therefore you made the right decision by investing in your manufacturing uh, facility in Kenya as we look into uh, the future. So, asante ni sana. Let me uh, congratulate all of you. I look forward to working with the pharmaceutical industry in making sure that we deliver on the big subject of health that is dear to many Kenyans. Asante ni sana, and God bless you. Just to confirm also that um, we will be making additional resources available to KEMSA. I have already instructed Minister to make an extra 2 billion shillings to KEMSA to enhance their ability to buy products from you for onward um, uh, supply to our public in uh, entities around Kenya. And we've already agreed with the county governments that uh, they will pay. Uh, they will pay. Uh, <laughs> they will pay their part as we all make this thing work. So, asante sana, and God bless you.